Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about accounts receivable dunning letters. And as you're watching this video, if the video is helpful, please hit the like button down at the bottom of YouTube. So in Acumatica, we have dunning letters. And what this allows you to do is to continually send reminders to your customers about past due invoices. And the difference is, as opposed to doing it manually and sending just out statements, is the Dunning letters have different levels. And we could define that under the Accounts Receivable Preferences under the Dunning tab. So the first setting is the Dunning process. Do we want to send our letters out at the document level or summarize for each customer? So that's a preference there. Typically, it's by customer. You may not want to send individual Dunning letters at an invoice level, but you have the option here. Additionally, you have a checkbox here to automatically release the Dunning letters. We'll get into more of this later, but essentially when we send out the letters, we have the ability to release them. Now, this is grayed out because it's by customer. If we go by document, you see that you have the ability to manually release the letters per document. The other thing you could do is you could, when you're sending out your Dunning letters, include documents that are unpaid, future documents that are coming up, and just include those as a reminder that, hey, they're coming up, and you may want to consider these as well when you're making your payment. At the bottom here, we have the ability to define different letter levels. So why would we do that? Well, the reason we would do that is because at each level, we have the ability in our report, and I'll show you this in a little bit, to change the language of the letter. So for example, this could be a gentle reminder. Level four might be along the lines of hiring a collection agency or taking legal action. Now with each level, you could define the days past two, so it automatically gets categorized. We're giving the customer 30 days past two, plus a floating day to settle. Meaning after we get to this past due, we give you three days to make the payment. And if not made, then we move to the next aging bucket. Additionally, notice you can put Dunning fees. Check with your local state to see if these fees are applicable, if they're allowed to be made. But typically there is a percentage of interest and you could do that on late fees, which is a different area of Acumatica. But this allows you to do a fee at the letter level. So you can change these here. And then if you do create a fee, what item, what non-stock item code are we going to use? You can choose that item here and then put terms specifically for that. So when we get to, for example, 60 days, and maybe this is $15, we're going to create an invoice with a line item of administrative charge that's got the GL revenue item on it. And the customer has 30 days to pay that late fee if we want to call it that, although this is a Dunning fee. So let's take a look at how it works. Let's first start by looking at a customer. So if we take a look at maybe ABC Venture and we go over to billing. So the first thing you notice about this is this customer has a parent account. So meaning everything is getting rolled up to ABC Holdings. The Acumatica Dunning Letter system will honor that so that when the Dunning Letter comes out, it'll show the detail for each of the child companies at the bottom of the letter. So parent accounts will take care of that. Additionally, notice the print and email settings. So how do we want to send our Dunning Letters out? Do we want to print them or do we want to email them? So that's a preference, very similar to how we send out invoices or statements. That's a preference here. If you have email checked, keep in mind that you can't save a customer without an email address. You'll get a warning. And then how do we send these out? So if we go to receivables and we show all and we go to prepare Dunning letters, Acumatica gives you a list of all the customers with overdue balances. And you could see the earliest due date, 
of any of the documents that are outstanding. You could see the number of overdue documents, the number of total documents, and the customer's balance here. You can also see the Dunning letter level right here. So all of these customers are at level one. We haven't run it on this company. But as the customer moves into different Dunning letter levels, you'll see they'll start to go to two, three, and four in this case. You can also see the last time the customer received a letter right here. But if we wanted to send these out, we can process all or check the ones we want to send out. And then when we're ready, we'll click process. So what this has done is it's queued up these letters together for us. Now the next step is if we go to receivables and we go to print release Dunning letters, keep in mind our preference is to automatically release. So that's not a step we need. Notice there's some actions here. So here we can print the Dunning letters. All of our customers are set up to email. So that's why you're not seeing anything to print here. But before we leave this action, notice Acumatica has an option to print with the device hub. So if you have the Acumatica device hub option, it comes with Acumatica's WMS and you process all these to be printed. Again, there's nothing here. Acumatica behind the scenes will communicate with the device hub and print to your default printer. And of course, this is beneficial because you may not be babysitting this, particularly if it's scheduled and you're scheduling this to run automatically. You added this to the schedule. Maybe we want to do this once a month, maybe the second or third or fifth day of the month. We would use the device hub to get these automatically thrown to the printer. But if we go to actions and we go to email Dunning letter, you can see the list of customers that we had selected. And you could see their level and the overdue balance. And you could also see the preferences here as to what the customer's requesting. Again, you could print an email if you want. It's just a customer preference. Now, if I highlight one, I could take a look at their Dunning letter. So this is the Acumatica transaction document that gives you all your summary information at the top and the list of invoices that will be included in their Dunning letter. Now, if we click print here, just so we can look at it and see what it looks like, you can see we have our company up here, the customer's information here, and the body of the letter. The following invoices have not been paid by June 8th. Would you please settle these by 6-11? Remember, we had a three-day period here. Our accounts reflect payments received until 6-8. If you made a payment after this, please ignore. Now, to the additional letters, also notice you can see the list of invoices here, and you can see the reminder number. So this is the different levels. And to the body of this message, if we click on the pencil here and we click Edit Report, we open up the Report Designer you can see the report for the Dunning letter. Now you can make any changes you want to this. Um, certainly when we're looking at it, the email settings, who it's going to go to is included here. There's the to field. We're sending it to the billing contact. You can see it over here. But moreover, if we look at the body of the message and we click over here and click our dot, 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 you can see the formula here for how we dictate what message we want to send to the customer. So the purposes of this demo is to show you how Dunning letters work, to modify the report, certainly communicate with us, and we're happy to talk to you about changing your Dunning letter report. But essentially, you use the formula, the last level, to determine what message you're going to send out. So you notice this message right here, your account remains overdue. Despite a reminder we sent to you earlier, there's final deadline, there's all sorts of terms here, legal advisors. But meanwhile, 
you know, after this date, please ignore the letter. That's the one we showed together for level one. So this is all based on the formula. You can type in anything you want here and determine how severe you want the letter to be based on the level. So if we go back, we'll close this. I don't want to make any changes to it. And we close this. And let's say we want to process all these letters. All of these will get emailed. And if we go to all email, you could see all of your past due letters that were emailed out. Now, if we take a look at an example here, Now, if we take a look at an example, maybe this one right here, you can see the notification template that's used. So this is changed under either the AR preferences. We'll go back to the AR preferences. Under mail and printing, this is the Dunning letter. This is the report that Acumatica picks. And you could choose a notification template. If there is no notification template, then under customers, you can have different notification templates for each customer based on the customer's mail settings. So if we go to mail printing, and we look for the Dunning letter, this is the notification template that we're using. I bring this up because you can go to notification templates find your Dunning letter template And you can come in here and modify it so that the email that goes out to the customer can be specific either to your company or even moreover, you can make it specific to individual customers if you want to. Also, if we look at the email activity and we look over here at files, click on it. Here's an attachment. This is what we're sending to the customer. It's a PDF attachment. If we open it up, You can see this ABC Holdings Company, the example that I'm bringing up right now. Notice it shows ABC Studios and ABC Venture. That's because, as I mentioned before, these companies are children to the parent ABC Holdings. So that's why you're seeing all of their individual invoices in this letter. So that's it. That's customer dunning letters in Acumatica. If you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. If you like the video, please like it down below. And thanks again for watching and have a great day.